Hi, my name is Sethi and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a recent update to Google Meet and how this can help you protect your privacy as well as give you a different background. So let's just jump into it. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to open up Google Meet. Now you can do that by navigating to meet.google.com or simply going to that app launcher in the top right corner of your browser once you've signed in. Now I'm going to open up my Meet here and I've already prepared the meet.google.com page. Now we're going to create a brand new meeting and since a few days we have a new update to the blur background effect or virtual background effect. This means that we can now also change our background to be anything we'd like it to be. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to start a new meeting. I'm going to call this test BG as in background and then I'm going to click on join. Now, as always with Google Meet, I get a preview and you can see here from the webcam view that I can start previewing and double checking my webcam and my camera view. Now here in this camera view, in the bottom corner, you will see that there is an additional icon. Now this before was just a blur for the background. Now, when we click on this, we can also change our backgrounds. So here you can see, I can either slightly blur my background this is what that looks like. Now, I really like this effect because it's not too overpowering and it works really well. Now, you can also do a heavy blur and the heavy blur is great when you really want to protect your privacy. You're in a public place, maybe in your living room, or maybe there's a lot of action behind you or people moving around. Well, then you can use the heavy blur. In addition to these, we now also have virtual backgrounds. So here you can see I can add some confetti, can have all different types of backgrounds. Now these are not perfect, but they are continuously getting better and better and better. Now, as you can see here, we have a number of natural looking office environments and even some home spaces. And this can really add to the quality of your virtual meetings. Now, once you're ready to jump in, same as always, you just click on join now. And from then on, you're using this virtual background. Now, depending on the domain you are using for your meeting, you can also upload your own custom images. So here you can see that this also allows me to upload an image from my drive. Now, these images can be found on many different websites. There are hundreds of websites out there, such as Pexels, that allow you to use their images. And there's even some background packs that you can download that have wallpapers designed just for virtual meetings such as these. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.